Matthew Cochran, Dusan Babcock. I'm currently designing electrical systems for Linemouth Power Station. So we get tasked by the client to say, for instance, it's cable routing, to say we've got power here, we need it over here. How do you get it there? Throughout everything, I've always liked to understand why things happen, why they work the way they do. So if I'm asked to do something, first I'll understand it, then I'll do the task, and then if I've got any problems, I'll, come, I'll happily go and talk to someone, talk to my boss, talk to one of my colleagues, just to so we'll get the task done correctly. I'll try and find the most efficient way to do the task, um, and if there's other bits that sort of could be done better, I'll try and improve on that. Do a lot of coaching out with. I probably do about 10 to 15 hours a week um, coaching young people. I think that's really brought on my communication skills, so I understand how to talk to people. But I'm also a buddy to one of the younger princes, so when he's in the office, um, when he's not in college, we'll, um, we'll catch up and I'll see how he's getting on sort of in work if he's got any problems. So it's just sort of like a mentor role just to make sure he's all right. Sometimes it's difficult to try and balance apprenticeship, like your studies, and actually completing the work that needs to be done for the company to meet goals. I'm trying to find that extra half hour, 20 minutes, wherever I can, just to study. Juggled that about. I think I've overcome that quite well because I'm getting quite high grades and stuff throughout my college year. The game plan is to finish my apprenticeship, get the time out of work to go to uni one day a week. I think it'd be for four years, uh, potentially do a master's degree, and then become chartered through sort of experience and time working in Dusan Babcock.